Once upon a time, there was a... Who's name? Who's broken? Now, now, you two, this is the last time we're gonna go through this. Why did you leave the trucks in the cave? Well, uh, uh here's the deal, Mr. Broco. Uh, there was, um, uh, a scary noise and we, and we, and we got away. Well, I cannot accept that. There must be another reason. Ah, ah. We caught her on the turns. Mavis. Yes, Mr. Boko. Oh, thank you, Mavis. All right, welcome, Boko. It's blocking the way. Coupling snapped. Uh, let's get back to work. Mavis? Yes, Mr. Bo. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'll get you to the deal's work right away, sir. That won't be possible. I blocked the point. Well, I'm sure there's a way. Thank you for agreeing to take him to the diesel books, Toby. Oh, my pleasure. Come on, Boko, let's go. Oh, Mavis. I think it's time you tell Bill and Ben the story of how I arrived. Yes, sir. Bill and Ben, I have a story to tell you. Oh, was it a fun story? With knights and dragons? No. This is a real story. This is the story of Boko. Once upon a time, there was a man named Sir Topham Hatt. Sir Topham Hatt had recently inherited the role of controller of the railway, and he was searching for a quarry to dig resources for the railway. All right, uh, this, this will be a serviceable space. I quite like the site, sir. It seems ripe for resources. But who would work here? I'd obviously need much stronger engines to be able to haul all these stones. Say, how about a diesel engine? That's perfect. All I have to do is find the right one. Uh, where's the top mat? I've got a coal delivery from the mainland. Just the perfect diesel. So. Edward, could you get these coal cars? Yes, sir. Will you work hard? Oh yes, sir. Of course I will. Perfect. Now I don't I don't think this quarry is ready yet, so I'll have you start in the yard for now and eventually you'll work here. Fine for me. Tip top shape. Oh I'm sorry, who is that? Oh, Sir Topham had some new diesel. He's got a diesel? Wait, aren't you Montague? Or duck? I've read about you in those books. What are they called again? The Railway Series. Yes, yes, I'm pretty famous. But you're not going to control our railway per se, right? Great heavens, no. I would never do such a thing. All right. How ever could he think that? All right, trucks. Let's play a game. I'm going to need you to humiliate that diesel. Maybe then his true colors will be revealed. Ah, it sounds like a fun time. Yes, but he can't know about this. Good morning, Travis. Cars, Cars are, waiting are waiting in the yard, yard tackling them, them with the easel. Show, show the world what I can, I can do, gaily boast the diesel. When an out he freaks out. about, like, like a big black weasel. When, weasel. when, when he pulls the wrong tricks out, out, pop goes the diesel. Cars are racing in the yard, tackling them with the easel. Show the world what I can do. Gaily boast the diesel. It's alright, I heard you the first time. No need to repeat yourselves. Cars are waiting in the yard, tackling them with the oh, I can't easel. take it anymore, Show that stupid rhyme. Gaily boast Wait, the diesel. This must when be a prank. Out, he freaks about Trucks, did anyone tell you to do this? Uh, when he pulls stop. the wrong tricks out, oh, pop goes the guy. diesel. <sighs> he pulled a prank on me, I'll pull one on him. <laughs> Three, two, one. 
naughty, naughty trucks. Sir, Diesel told us to do it. God damn it. Uh, hold on. Diesel, I have given you a chance, and you failed. I will not let an engine... I will not let anybody do that to my engines. You'll be sent back to the mainland. Yes, sir. Great. Now I need a new diesel. Sir, I found the perfect engines. We're on to work here, sir. Ah. It'll suffice. It'll suffice. So what are you interested in? We got many different types of diesels. We got Aryan Burt. We only work in the ironworks. Alright, we got Dennis. Yeah, five minutes. Daisy, the diesel rail car, she's new. Highly sprung. No, not what I'm looking for. There's Salty. Oh, I work at the docks. And Den. Uh, hello, sir. No, I'm not interested in any. Say, what about that one in the back? I've never seen an engine more fit for a job. I'll take him. Hello there. Are you looking for a car? No. Excellent then, Will. Oh, did you find a train? No. Well, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Oop. Oh, you're back so quickly. Oh. Okay. I can't take this. We just pick one spot. Well, there are two of us. Oh my god. We work at the quarry. Interesting. Say, may I see this quarry? It's magical. Follow us. Oh dear, it seems my shape can't fit on the rails. It's all right. I managed to get through. For many years, Bill, Ben, and Poco worked at the quarry. Until one day. Hello there. Hello. I'm Diesel. I used to work here. I'm wondering if the top hat has any placements open for Diesels. No. Uh, not at the moment, I believe. How's everything going over here, Diesel? Oh, sir. There you are. I was just asking if you need any more diesels. Well, not the moment. And if I did, I wouldn't pick you. The reason I asked the trucks to do that in the first place was because the trucks humiliated me. Well, you shouldn't have taken that on Duck. Sir, you're not listening. Duck told the trucks to pull the prank on me. So in turn, I told the trucks to pull the prank on Duck. Well, uh... I, I still don't want you here. You shouldn't have done that, Diesel. I'm not leaving. I'm not gonna leave until he notices how good of a worker I am. Over the course of the next few months, Diesel worked at the quarry. Sir Tom had noticed how things were moving much faster now, and decided to get a Diesel. See, sir? The quarry's much better with me. Yes, but I don't trust you. I think I better get another Diesel to work here. I'll consider you, though. He'll consider me. Yeah, right. But not long after that discussion, another diesel arrived. Hello, I'm Mavis. Welcome aboard, Mavis. This is preposterous. I'm about to just tell him about this. What's his deal? I don't know. For many months after that, Mavis with the corn stab diesel. Around this time as well, Toby would start dropping off supplies and workmen to the quarry. Everybody was a great team. Until one day, when... Hello everybody, my name is Fergus. Hello Fergus! Fergus worked in the quarry for a few months, until... Who are you? Why, I'm Fergus! That dumb name. Fergus. Hello, Diesel. <gasps> Diesel, what are you doing here? Just visiting. Sir Topham Hat has had six engines at this quarry, and still I haven't been invited to work here. All because I got a reasonable revenge on Duck. 50 
15 years ago. What's going on here? Diesel. Hello, sir. Why are you back? No reason, sir. Oh, I see. This is because I haven't brought you to the railway yet. Diesel, after what you did to Doc, I will not bring you to this railway. Very well then, sir. Early the next morning, Diesel arrived at the quarry. Everyone else was asleep. He approached Fergus in the nearby siding, and Fergus was sent flying back until he ran. Diesel? Yes. I think I'll push a couple cars in with you. That way it'll be more hidden. So Diesel pushed a few troublesome trucks in with Fergus. Fergus was hidden. Later that day, everyone was confused as they couldn't find Fergus. Attention, everybody. Fergus may be missing, but we still need someone extra to work at the quarry. Which is why I'm going to regret to say this, but the new engine working at the quarry will be Diesel. Hello. I'm going to regret this. For the next few months, Diesel was working at the quarry, and he was as happy as could be. Another early morning, months after Diesel pushed Fergus into the ditch, someone arrived. Come on, Fergus, let's get you out of here. Doc took Fergus to the works. Everything was going great for Diesel, until one day, when... You. Me? You pushed me off in a siding for me never to be found. And look what you've done. Fergus? How are you back? Let's just say someone saved me. Hello, Diesel. Duck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Diesel, you pushed Fergus in the siding just so you could work here? That's disgusting. Well, I need to work here. No, you don't, Diesel. You were brought here to help shunt. You pulled a prank on one of the engines just because he pulled a prank on you. And then you hit an engine just so you could work with them. I'm not evil, I swear. Diesel, take this. Ah! 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 I brought you here to shunt in the first place, but you didn't like that. So I removed you, and then you come back wanting to work for the quarry, but I didn't let you. So you pushed an engine into the siding, hopefully never to be found according to you, just so you could get a job here. I thought we established that. Diesel, you will be sent away for this island forever. Let's go, Diesel. I think you'll like it at the ironworks. Hello. What brings you to the ironworks? I did something naughty on my previous residence, so I was kicked off and sent to work here. That's a shame. What'd you do? I was kicked off the island a while ago, so in turn I came back wanting to work for their quarry, uh, pushed one of their quarry engines off the rails, hit them with some trucks, and then just started working at the quarry until they found them. Despicable. Eh, let's get to work. One day, Boko, I'll get you. And that's the story of Boko. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Oh my, I was up all night telling the story to Bill and Ben. Good morning, Mavis. How are you today? No time to talk, Toby. I gotta get to work. Hush, hush, Mavis. There's no hurry. Call delivery for... Ah, qua quarry. Oh no, it's Diesel. Ah! Mavis, Diesel's back. Well aware. Where are you? Ah! Ah! Looks like you failed. She may have, but I didn't. Oh, go! What? Boko? I've planned my revenge on you, Boko. 
I've planted for years. And I think now is a good time to plant. Do what you want, Diesel. I have a plan too. Impossible. Oh! You want to let me get to my trucks, eh? I'll show you. Clever, clever Diesel. That's not what I asked of me, Boko. Save us, Boko. With pleasure. Bill and Ben, you may want to get out of the way. Yes, Mr. Boko. You backed into me, and I'll back into you. There, Diesel. Boko, congratulations! I've never seen such a heroic day in my life. Hopefully, Diesel's gone forever now. I'm still here. Well, I'll talk to the Fat Control about this, and I'm sure we'll get a doll locked out. Say, Mavis, remember when you started to tell us the story of Boko? I asked if it was about a knight and dragon. Yes, why? Well, Boko may be the knight, and Diesel may be the dragon. Ha! <laughs> what a funny analogy.